Esta noche. My sister's laugh sent a chill through my body, the same way it felt to bite into aluminum or scratch fingernails against a blackboard, transforming the tarred sky into beaten, half-dead metaphors. My sister shouted, Maricon, every time Jack Tripper went limp-wristed. What happened to the sexual revolution of the 1970s? Maybe I was expecting my sister to have a conscience. I was 13. And then, in the warmth of our living room, sitting across from her, I wished she could understand the loathing I felt, not for her, but for myself and the caricature I knew I'd become. Thank you for reading your poem, Esta Noche. So this poem describes a scene of it, that should be one of familial comfort. There's laughing, watching a sitcom with a sibling, but the speaker seems to experience a lot of tension, anxiety even, um, with his sister, with the culture, with himself. Um, so I'm wondering why, uh, why choose Jack Tripper? Why choose Three's Company? You could choose anything. What is it about uh, that particular cultural moment that mm -hmm. you're drawn to? I'm, I'm drawn to visibility mm -hmm. of particular individuals or cultural representations in, in media. And in the 1970s, uh, Three's Company is maybe, maybe, maybe the only uh, television program or television series that portrays um, what might be considered an, an out or uh, openly visible homosexual character. And although the character uh, Jack Tripper, played by John Ritter, is a caricature of um, a homosexual man, um, it was quite popular uh, in my childhood home. Mm. Um, mostly because of the series itself. It was, it was funny. Um, uh, Suzanne Summers was hilarious. Uh, John Ritter was very funny, um, despite the fact that uh, his laughs, many of his laughs came from disparaging um, the homosexual community mm. um, by presenting this caricature yeah. um, or propagating particular stereotypes of gay men. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that these, these stereotypes don't exist or these behaviors don't exist, mm -hmm. uh, but it's all we really saw yeah. for the most part, I should say. Mm -hmm. And um, I, co I connected with that right away. Yeah. And, and I think visual representation is important uh, for any kind of culture. Uh, mostly because it's through visual representation that we learn to be if we don't have a real-life example around us of who to be or how to behave. Totally. So in many ways, um, Jack Tripper showed my family, my siblings, what a, a homosexual man was, was like. And, um, for better or for worse, right? Exactly. Yeah. And in this poem here, my sister is... Um, uh, using a very uh, uh, negative uh, word in Spanish to um, describe this character. Mm -hmm. And in many ways, by having her say that or hearing her say that, she was, she, she was saying that about me. Yeah. And so it's a, it's a very difficult mm -hmm. uh, situation. It was a very difficult situation. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a very personal poem in that way. Yeah, I was going to say, this sounds like it, it was very personal and specific. Mm -hmm. experience. It was. Yeah. How, how do you see the title, Isa Noche, playing with the content of the, of the poem? Mm -hmm. or, or vice versa, does the content play off of the, the title? I was thinking uh, at the time that I was trying to come up with the title for the mm -hmm. poem, I was thinking of Mark Doty's collection, My Alexandria, yeah. and I just finished reading um, Tom Gunn's The Man with Night Sweats. Mm -hmm. So there are, uh, there are three poets that really come to mind when I think of the representation of, of gay men in poetry in the 1980s and the early 90s. Uh, and that would be Mark Doty, 
um, his his uh, early 1990s collection, My Alexandria, mm -hmm. um, Tom Gunn's The Man with Night Sweats. But I think more importantly, um, we have Paul Monette, mm -hmm. who um, wrote a collection in the mid 80s called Elegies for Raj, which are um, about the loss of his partner to HIV AIDS. So the representation of homosexuality in, in poetry um, in, the, in the 80s and 90s is um, somewhat rare uh, mm -hmm. to be just open and direct with it. And so yeah. when I was trying to come up with the title for this poem, I, I stole um, a bit from Mark Doty. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for sharing it. Thank you.